for today's cruise news, a couple that was gifted their first cruise ever say that they were, in their own words, held hostage by the cruise line after one of them suffered a medical emergency. They then incurred a medical bill in the thousands and were not allowed to leave the ship until they had paid it off. Also, a popular up and coming cruise line is planning on taking on the largest cruise ship makers in the world, Royal Caribbean. However, according to the opinions of some, myself included, this is not a good idea at all. I will explain why in today's video. Finally, a brand new adult only cruise line is set to debut next month in July, seemingly competing with the most popular adult only cruise line out there right now, Virgin Voyages. So we have a vacation of a lifetime that turned into an absolute disaster. There was a 31 year old man from Michigan by the name of Vincent Wozni. Back in 2018, he and his wife, they come from humble beginnings, they bought their first house and their agent decided to gift them a cruise with Royal Caribbean. By the time Vincent and his wife had the availability from work to take their cruise vacation, the pandemic had came along, delaying their vacation even further. However, recently they were able to take this vacation boarding independent of the seas with Royal Caribbean out of Florida. It would not only be their first cruise ever, it would also be Vincent's first time on an airplane flying from Michigan over to Florida. The cruise started off without a hitch. Everything was fine until Independence of the Seas docked over at Royal Caribbean's private island located in the Bahamas, perfect day at Coco Cay. While experiencing some of the island, Vincent fell ill. They then left the island early and went back to the cabin for Vincent to rest. The very next day, his wife woke up to Vincent having a seizure. He had two seizures at at that time and was even bleeding from his mouth from biting on his tongue during his seizure. Vincent's wife would then go out of the cabin yelling for help and thankfully one of the next door neighbors just so happened to be a medical professional. Once the staff that worked in the medical area on board Independence of the Seas got there, they wheelchaired Vincent down to the medical center where he had a third seizure. From there they decided the ship was close enough to their next port. They deployed one of the rescue boats and attempted to get Vincent off of the ship on one of the rescue boats and over to the island where he can get the help that he needed. However, before he boarded the rescue boat, the staff then stopped Vincent and said, before you leave, you have to pay for this $2,500 medical bill. Do keep in mind that at the time, Vincent was in and out of consciousness. However, he said he does remember getting that bill, put it in his face, saying he had to pay it before he disembarked the ship. Unfortunately, at the time, he was uninsured. He also didn't have the money to pay for the bill. He and his wife used up all of their credit cards to pay for some of the bill. However, there was a thousand dollars left to pay on the balance and they ended up having to overdraft in order for the bill to be paid. This situation right here is obviously where the controversy starts because on one end you have this man Vincent that is in need of immediate medical attention. Meanwhile if you don't know whenever you book a cruise you do sign some terms that say that before you disembark the ship for any reason you do have to pay off all of your bills and any incidentals that you may have occurred while on board the ship. He did end up paying it of course going into overdraft he was able to get on the rescue boat go over to the island in which he got the medical care he needed but unfortunately even while he was there because he was uninsured he ended up racking up thousands and thousands of dollars of more medical debt now surprisingly even after this giant conundrum Vincent is not phased at all in fact he's in pretty good spirits even though he did end up paying thousands of dollars for what should have been a free cruise he said that he enjoyed his time on board Independence of the Seas with Royal Caribbean and he wants to go back to Perfect Day at Coco Cay because he didn't get a chance to see everything however this is a reminder to all of you fine folk to of course get insurance but make sure you look at the fine print because some of them may not cover pre-existing medical conditions. It turns out that Vincent had been suffering with seizures for the past 10 years and was believed to be epileptic. This is what I'm saying you should look at the fine print of your insurance whether you get regular travel insurance or you get insurance by your normal provider. Should something happen like let's say what happened on this particular cruise ship then well he may or may not have been covered. Anyway personally we can't judge Royal Caribbean too harshly on this because rules are our rules. I guess there is some moral grounds in there somewhere. However, you think Royal Caribbean should have waited before giving them this $2,500 bill? Let me know in the comment section below. Next up, the Mafia Shipping Company, aka MSC, is planning on taking on arguably the number one cruise line in the entire world right now, Royal Caribbean. This conversation has been all over the place lately. There's articles left and right about Carnival taking on Royal Caribbean and MSC taking on Royal Caribbean. When it comes to MSC, they are talking about just simply building larger ships. In case you don't know, obviously we have Icon of the Seas, the largest ship in the world right now. Royal Caribbean is the holder of six titles. They have the top six largest cruise ships in the world. MSC has a seventh with the World Europa. They have another ship coming out next year, the World America. Everybody's excited. I know I am. I'll be on that ship. 
However, saying that a cruise line is going to compete with Royal Caribbean right now, and I'm not trying to gas Royal Caribbean up, it's just the facts. They have brand deals with the Hard Rock Casino, they have famous soccer players on their side, they have beach clubs being built, and they are capitalizing on their islands with adult-only areas and all that jazz. It's kind of, in my personal opinion, a non-argument. There are two points to sell in that do, in my opinion, give some merit to MSC being able to compete with Royal Caribbean down the road. In fact, they may be the only cruise line that has the ability to do so at this moment. Number one, MSC is nothing to sneeze at. They are a very popular line. They do have some kinks they still have to work out with the American market and they're bringing more ships over to America. However, globally, their ships are extremely popular. They run things over in Southern Europe. I've been there many a time. Same with South and Central America. People love MSC. On top of that, point number two, they have the money to expand to whatever it is that they want to expand over to eventually even competing with Royal Caribbean. However, let's be honest, this is possibly years down the road at minimum. All of that said, if MSC is truly only trying to compete with Royal Caribbean in the category of the world's largest cruise ship, personally, in my opinion, I believe it is a very dangerous game that they are playing. If you look at Royal Caribbean, everything that they have now, they have, I believe, planned for the past decade or two. You look at the Freedom Class and what they've built up to that with the boxing ring and the surfing simulator, they've just kind of experienced Expanded that as they made bigger ships. Oasis class up to the Icon class. When it comes to MSC, yes, they are very popular. They have the money because if you guys don't know, they are also the world's largest shipping company. So they have a lot of money and capital to play with. Do they have that formula, one, to capture the American market, which does consist of most of the cruising market that people are going to enjoy? Do they have the fan base? Do they have the formula for the ship design and the flow like Royal Caribbean does? Either way, I do believe this showdown will indeed be fun to watch. However, I will argue that bigger isn't always better. This mega ship game is getting a little old. I like both bigger and smaller and older and newer ships. I like it all. However, we'll just have to kind of see how it plays out. There is plenty of room in the market. Cruising's booming right now. In fact, to the point to where we even have more cruise lines showing up. Finally, for our next portion of news that we're going to sail into, there is a new adult-only cruise line in town. Well, it's actually over in Europe, and it's not here yet. However, it's coming in July. Neon X, Neon X or something like that. It's a adult-only cruise line that is going to be festival-themed. Did I mention it's for adults only? This Mediterranean experience will begin operation starting on July 15th featuring 7 to 10 world-class DJs every single cruise like Steve Aoki on their first ship ever the goddess of the night now, the ship was originally built in the year 2004 I'm going to assume it has been renovated and turned beautiful ever since has 13 decks holds 3400 passengers at full capacity and as far as the prices at least from what I have seen so far it is pretty competitive and comparable with Virgin Voyages this cruise is said to be perfect for groups couples and even solo cruisers so best believe whenever I get a chance I'm going to check it out as soon as possible however I did a little digging to see who owns this company why haven't we heard about it you know with Virgin believe it or not it's not Richard Branson and Virgin that owns those ships it's actually an investment group known as Bain Capital however when it comes to Neonix there is a company based over in Greece known as Sea Jets Group originally launched in the year 1989 they got into passenger ferries in 2002 and now they have the largest high-speed ferries in the world Anyway, definitely seems like a cool concept. Like I said, I will be jumping on that ship as soon as possible. I am aiming for some time this summer, and we will see how it plays out. But of course, that is your news for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. Of course, if you want to book a cruise, make sure you check out our travel agent sponsor, Lux Rally, the link of which will be in the description box below, as well as pinned in the comments. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.